Okay, this is just a quick video on ingredients that I use for my arrowhead glue or pine pitch glue. Uh, another name for pine pitch glue would be Cutler's Resin. And I wrote it out here because uh, if you Google this, Cutler's Resin, you'll find several recipes on how to make glue out of pine pitch and other ingredients. Uh, probably more information that, than you wanted to know, but uh, it took me a while to figure out that Cutler's Resin is the same thing as pine pitch glue. So, there we go. Uh, I just want to show you the basic ingredients. This is pine rosin. It's been processed, so all, all the oils have been taken out. And it's very brittle. This is about a half an ounce. Uh, this is beeswax, about a half an ounce of beeswax. And this, this plus Osage orange wood dust are my three main ingredients for my arrowhead glue. And um, if I want a, a hard glue, I use twice as much rosin as I do beeswax. So I would use two of these for one of these. If I want it to be a little softer, uh, for knife, for mounting knives instead of arrowheads, I usually use a softer uh, combination, which would be three of this and to two of this. Three to two, instead of uh, two to one. And if you mix in some of the uh, sawdust it gives it a little bit of different consistency it, it holds together in a different way it doesn't crack in the same way it kind of crumbles instead um, it just depends on what you want to experiment with and uh, I have yet to experiment with all the stuff that I've got I've, I bought some lanolin a while ago and I still haven't used it and that's just sheep's wool wax and I, I think that if you add that in with the glue, it makes it more flexible. But I haven't experimented with it. Uh, I need to do that and do another video. Um, another option would be Brewer's Pitch. Now, Brewer's Pitch is pine rosin with uh, some secret ingredients in it that keep it soft. It's not as brittle as the rosin. Now, I, I know all the oils have been taken out uh, because it smells just like rosin but it's, it remains fairly soft even at low temperatures. And it's used to line drinking vessels so they won't leak. And it can be used to line uh, canteens, uh, wooden canteens and other drinking vessels uh, that hold water. Uh, so if you want to use straight brewer's pitch to um, mount your arrowheads, that'd be fine, and knife blades. Uh, it's kind of expensive, but if you Google it, you'll find it. There's a couple of places where you can buy it, and it, it's really good. The only thing I don't like about it is it has a low melting point, which means if you leave it in a hot car, that it'll melt it'll completely off your objects. Um, straight pine rosin has a little bit higher melting point, so uh, it's a little bit more uh, reliable in hot weather. Uh, if you add beeswax, it lowers the melting point. Uh, so if you want something that will stay uh, hard during hot weather, you, you may want to use just straight rosin even though it's really brittle. Uh, you can also add uh, crushed plant fibers or animal dung like rabbit dung into the glue if you want. Uh, some people put charcoal in there, ground charcoal. Uh, that's also okay. Um, a lot of these extra ingredients are used with straight pine pitch that's still soft. It still has the oils in it and you need to have something to make it stiffer. You add in uh, sawdust or uh, plant fiber or charcoal dust or even rock dust or what they call brick dust in the old days. And um, that's about it. I just wanted to go over that and uh, I'll do some more experimenting and uh, I'll put up some recipes for my pine pitch glue for my arrowheads and my knife blades but uh, if you want to just look online Cutler's Resin Google that and you'll find a lot of recipes on pine pitch type glue that's it